Hey everybody, Mudslinger Tool back at you. Today we're reviewing a Honda Rebel. It's a 300 sitting behind me. Um, you just saw the before and after pictures of what it was stock and what I turned it into. Uh, just my personal touches. Uh, sorry, the neck's bothering me. But, uh, you know, maybe you don't like what I did with it. But with, that's a good thing with the Honda Rebel. You can do whatever you want with it. You can make it look like whatever kind of bike you want. Um, this one here kind of kind of resembles a Harley Street Bob. But everybody is asking about the 300s, 500s. Um, it's 300 having a top end, it's having a pool. Uh, me and my wife, we, we run out on this all the time. We're not world travelers now, um, but you know, we go out on it for fun here or there. And uh, it's got no problem pulling us around. Uh, I'm a 200 pound guy myself. Um, I won't give you my wife's weight because that's how you get in trouble. You know, do that, grab. But, um, but yeah, it's top end on a 300 is probably about 85 miles an hour. Um, I'm done with my crotch rocket days where I need to be on one wheel. I just want to be loud and just blow, 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 blow. That's what I want to be. Um, so would I mind a huger bike? Eh, probably not. But does it, is this one loud enough and fast enough for me? Yeah. So that being said, we'll get to it. All right, first on the front end here. I took the mounted a fork bag Egg on it because you have absolutely no storage. Then I took, this used to be aluminum and that's now flat black. I just I don't want a lot of shiny crap on here. Um, then, uh, <coughs> as you can see from the front end, the forks look a little more full. The whole tree looks a little more full. And these two speakers here kind of look like gauges. But these are speakers. So we mounted them on there. Those will, uh, those will widen up the front a little bit. So we move around to this side here. We got, we got the tank painted. We got the glossy off of there. We got the Honda off of there. I think everybody guess at what it is. We got the Diablo fairing. Three piece Diablo fairing. <clears throat> In my opinion, real good look. We have the custom built by myself. Side bags. Thor. Whatever you need. Then I took a big, huge fire hydrant, I call it, exhaust. Put on this, this stubby exhaust. It's got a real nice sound now. I added the passenger seat pegs with a pillion pad. Then we move around to the back here. Off. The 2018 came with a this big, huge lunchbox tail or uh, tail light. So that mounted up here and stuck out this way, and it was huge. It just it looked stupid. So I took that off, mounted me an iron cross on the back, dropped my tail light bracket my license plate bracket so that it could hang a little lower got my desired look out of that I think the back end's got a good look to it 
Come around this side. Same thing with the pillion pad. Got another another custom bag on this side. Like I said, they ain't too big. It'll hold a can of like a big can of Arizona iced tea. I'm gonna come around to the mirrors. Take them big Mickey Mouse goofy ass looking mirrors off. Put on some streamlined mirrors. This is the speakers from the front end. We mounted mounted a phone holder so that I can play my music or run my maps on top of the phone holder I mounted a USB cord and I made a cord that comes around jacks right into my phone got a couple uh, well, I got some clutch lever leathers a couple small Get back whips off of the grips and that's about it there we have it that's what she looks like I'm pretty pleased she treats me good and I think we'll enjoy many years of riding any of these mods that I've done that you like you look up on my channel I explain them in detail I had a hard time figuring out a lot of the stuff I had to go through um, countless hours of searching stuff on the internet going to factory websites finding schematics and so I try to lay it out for you guys a little bit easier so you don't have to go through what I went through um, most of the people that are trying to do the stuff that I'm doing to the bike, if that's what you like, they, they've appreciated the amount of detail. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I lost my words, but um, and pretty much I walk you through it step by step. You can get through anything that you want to do that I've done. I had the manufacturers, I had the step by step. And the before and the after, you can get through it all. I got one more thing to show you here. And we got to end with this. Right here on this side. We got the Mud Slinger 2 covering up the very last Honda that was on his bike. You guys be safe. Keep the wheels on the ground. Like, subscribe, keep me making videos.